just got off of work, I'm hungry, and I want something fast. So I decided to turn to one of our family favorites. It's something my dad would make for us sometimes when I was growing up. He called it Hunter Stew. Not sure where he got it from. I think he just made it up. But I'm going to go ahead, make it for you guys, and I'm going to update this recipe a little bit by sticking it in my Instant Pot. Let's go ahead. I'm going to turn this camera around, show you what ingredients you need. Let's get this going because we need to eat. <laughs> Pause here to write down what you'll need to follow along. All right, guys, so this stew could not be simpler just because of the limited amount of ingredients that you actually need to make it. So I've got my beef tips here, and you don't normally add mushrooms, but I had these in the refrigerator. I needed to use them up, so I just decided to go ahead and do that. Now, for the beef tips, you can also use venison or lamb if you're so inclined, but I've got probably about a pound, pound and a half of beef tips right here. I've got one and a half cups of just, um, this is just plain white rice, but you can use jasmine, brown rice, um, kind of, that's up to you, whatever you would like to use. You're also gonna use Worcestershire sauce. Now this one, I don't have an exact measurement, we just typically add it until we like the taste of it. So that's kind of up to you. If you love Worcestershire sauce, go crazy with it. You're also going to use um, some beef broth. And I've got one onion. And then because I absolutely love garlic, I did four cloves. But if you're not that crazy about it, you know, maybe just do two, one or two cloves. Now, I went ahead and got my Instant Pot set to saute. I'm going to add this one cup of beef broth. Woo! And then I'm going to add my onions. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my garlic. And then we're also going to add our mushrooms. And then we'll add our beef tips. Now we're gonna give that a good stir and I'm gonna let this simmer down for a little bit, probably uh, until some of the meat is browned and the mushrooms and the onions have softened. Then we'll go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. Now we've got our mushrooms and our onions really nice and soft and our beef is pretty brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients to that, which is this one and a half cups of white rice but again feel free to use a rice that you like and because in the instant pot right or white rice is a one-to-one -one ratio for liquid since i've got one and a half cups of rice i've got one and a half cups of beef broth here but i went ahead and put a little bit extra just to be on the safe side so we're going to go ahead and add that And now here is where you add a little bit of additional, oh, there's Tico, a little bit of additional liquid as our Worcestershire sauce. Now you're gonna see me add quite a bit um, because I really like the taste of Worcestershire. But again, if you aren't really a fan, just feel free to add as much as you think that you would like. We're also at this stage going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And we'll probably pepper this again uh, and salt it again after we get this stage done. Now, my dad always says to add a lot of pepper because that's what makes this dish. I'm not too crazy about pepper, so I kind of cut back just a little bit from what he would do. And I've got a pinch of salt. Okay, now we're gonna give that a good stir now we're gonna go ahead and come down here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the meat stew. Should be about 35 minutes. We'll check on this in 35 and see what we got. So it's been about 40 minutes later. You can see my Instant Pot is off and when I took the lid off, it was perfect. So it actually uh, absorbed all that liquid that I had in there, which is exactly what I wanted. I went ahead and added a little bit more salt and pepper, but I expected that. So I went ahead and did that and it is now perfect and ready to eat. 
And that's it guys, dinner ready. I have got it served in my favorite unicorn bowl. I am ready to eat. It smells so good, I cannot wait to eat this. This is the perfect thing just to throw together in your Instant Pot when you come home from work, you're hungry, and you just want something fast and really comforting and warm. Now, typically, I just eat a bowl of this or two by itself, but if you want to pair it with a really good salad, I think that would be perfect too. So hopefully you stay tuned for next week as we start yet another themed month. And I think you're going to enjoy it just as much as we did. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and eat. Remember to eat good food and stay good to each other. I'll see you later. Bye. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for future videos. In the meantime, here are two videos you may enjoy. Thanks for watching.